Hello, 5 Minute Friday number 5, and this is going to be a two-parter. So in today's video, we're going to look at using the Accurite View digital readout on the lathe, and in the next part, we're going to do it for the mill. So today's video, we will look at basic setup, turn some diameters, and then using the taper calculator function. So the Accurite View is a digital readout that can be used for either a mill or a lathe. In both instances, the first thing to do when you switch it on is hit the Enter key and you'll need to traverse the reference point so that the machine knows where it is in both the X and the Z axis. To do that, we just move the axes until the reference stops flashing. Do the same in the Z. And what that's doing is just using the little linear encoders that are on both axes so the machine knows where, it's at, where it is. If you did need to swap over the DRO um, to a mill, then we can look at the soft key um, icon here, move across to the setup menu, install setup, enter the password which is default to 8891 and go into counter settings where we can select either the turn, or lathe control or the mill and the difference is, is it unlocks various um, functions. So the PCD um, is only available in the milling mode, whereas the taper turning mode is only available in the lathe. What we're going to do is turn this diameter down, set the datums uh, using these two buttons here, and then we'll turn a taper on so we can use the, um, the taper calculator. So before we start, um, let's suppose we don't know the, the speed at which to run the machine. So we'll find the diameter, which is near enough 25, and we'll use the RPM calculator. So we hit the calculator button here, hit RPM, and here we can put in the diameter of the workpiece, 25, surface speed, 30 for steel, and we get 382. And another really nice feature of these DROs is effectively you've got a juice book on the machine. So if you hit the help button, list of topics, and go to the, the one section. Not only do you have things like tapping drills, you don't have to look those up in a separate place, but you also have surface speeds. So we're going to be using um, carbide tips, so we page past the high speed steel until we hit carbide, and then we've got cast iron, a range of steels, and some different materials such as aluminium and brass as well. So it's all here on the display and there's a range of calculators to help you. So what we're going to do is turn down to a nominal diameter, take a measurement off that and then set that on the DRO and that will set our datums. So the important thing is that we haven't touched the x-axis, now we can take a measurement with a mic. And that's repeating at 24.304. So in the DRO now we can enter that as our x offset. So the linear encoders only have a, I say only, have a um, resolution of 0 .05, 0 0.005, so anything that we put in this last column here will round either up or down to the nearest five. So there's two modes, the set and zero. Zero will obviously turn the, uh, the, the datum to zero. In set mode, we can enter our exact dimension, which was 24.304. And here we can see that last decimal point is rounded. And from this point now, we're ready to, to turn. I'm just gonna turn it down to maybe 22 and at that point we'll use the taper calculator to, um, to create a taper. Okay, so we've now turned um, down to 22 millimetres 
and just adjust to the x-axis there. Uh, what we'll do is we'll put in a taper. So we use the taper turning calculator here. Uh, we'll put our first diameter, which is the, the major diameter. We'll leave that at 22. Second diameter will taper down to 15 millimeters. And we'll do that over a length of 25 millimeters. And it's going to tell us the angle that we need to offset the compound slide. So let's do that now. Twenty-two millimeters there. Uh, we should be reading ten on the end. Now this is a slightly cavalier way of measuring, but well, fifteen we're getting there. Let's just check our taper turning chart. Oh, good, it was fifteen. We're getting fifteen point one five. That was a rough measurement. I've got some faith in that. So the angle, the uh, the length then will be right. That's twenty-five. Let's just take a, again a, a very rough measurement. I'll set it to twenty-five and see if that matches up. That's pretty good. Again, if we wanted to inspect it properly, we can do. So that was the Accurite DRO system for the lathe. Next week, we're going to look at it deployed on a milling machine where we're going to drill some holes in a linear array and on a PCD.